Welcome back, everybody. I hope you've been having a lovely time, enjoying music, and not being too burnt out. As often as artists, it's easy to get burnt out, but hopefully with this tutorial we can relax both together and enjoy the process of making music. In this tutorial, I'm going to try to make something like Rei Harakami. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm a big fan of his work and the mood that I feel listening to it is such an airy or even a happy or a sad mood. I have been really enjoying it recently a lot. So I hope in this tutorial we can make it together in a slow, calmful, peaceful way instead of rushing to make something. So yeah, let's begin. So what I'm going to be doing first is finding a nice, peaceful, droning pad sound. And for this, I'm going to be using Roland Sound Canvas. I believe Ray used something similar to this when he was making his music. So here I am on a forum that I was searching around. So it turns out that this guy did some research and has found that, according to him, that Ray was using the Roland SC88 Pro. And that is actually emulated by Roland here. So we're going to be using this. And I believe this was used a bit back in the MIDI game, um, back in the, the 90s era when um, MIDI production was more common. So yeah, we're going to be using this. And I think maybe we'll use the 808 or something. We'll see where we go with it and see what we can build up. So here we are. So these are the banks that we have that we can use. So we're going to start with the ST88 map. And we got pads here. So I'm just going to test them out on the keyboard. Here we are in the best place that you can possibly be. A place where all imagination can be created. You can create anything here. So yeah, let's go start thinking of some cool pads to please our ears. I like this sound. I believe it is an A suspended chord. And I really like that you can feel the tension with it. So I think we use that as a starting chord. And we're going to boot up from there to think of the next chord to go into the equation. I like what I just did. You can hear the resolve, the resolution sound. So let's see how that sounds with what we have now. I'm going to slow the BPM down and let's hear how this sounds. So I still think it's a bit fast, so I'm going to make it extend it out. And think of what we can add to the bass, which we have, which is the pad sound. I'm going to use the pad as the foundation in this track. Okay, guys, so I'm back now. I'll just let you know for a second why um, I'm speaking in like a tone like this. So um, I just thought it'd be like interesting to try like make a really relaxing um, music tutorial 
like everybody wants things so fast and like sure that's fun but i wanted to try this and um yeah i'm just doing it bit by bit and i just um paused the the recording for a second because i had to fix the sound but yeah let's get back to it guys i'll get back to my voice also and let's try and make this really relaxing extend it out I like that sound. So let's see what else we can add to this. So I'm going to press B. I'm going to draw some more notes on to thicken this chord up to really create ambience and create an interesting feeling. You know, it's always interesting listening to chords full of interesting notes. So I hope to try and make an interesting thing, but also still in the the way that Ray Harakami would do it. So, you know, a really mindful way to make music is just to try different notes and to see how they sound. And we're going to click this and we can just listen to it. Oh. We're just really creating this ambience. We're really creating the feeling that we want to create. So we're just going to keep on pushing the sound and see where we go with it. So now it's starting a bit too dark. I sort of want that melancholy uh, feeling. So I'm just going to try, keep on trying until I get the sound that I can envision in my head. I really love this chord, but I think this note isn't actually playing. And you know why? It's because it's sticking out slightly and it's playing in the negative. So just get that right in. Yes, I love this chord so much. And now it's starting too dark, so I sort of still want that happiness. So let's experiment with some more chords. So now we're just creating this ambience, this interesting feeling. So now let's get some more sound canvas. Let's layer this up and create what we envision. Let's create something really interesting. Let's create what we want to create. And so now we're in another sound canvas. And I think even more pads maybe, you know? We don't want to do too crazy, but we still want to see what we can get. I think maybe this. And you know what I want to do with this one? I want to create a bit more rhythm. And let's see where we can go with that. <laughs> Gonna press shift and arrow key up. So we can move it up an octave. It's too predictable now, I think. I think I'm creating this too much of a trap vibe. 
you know how this happening I face because it's just the length is too short and I'm not experimenting enough it's easy to rush music but often when rushing it's ends up making stuff that you don't want to make so you really have to think just really push creatively because it's easy just not to like what you want to make so you just have to keep on pushing through and get the sounds that you want to make and the sounds that you can sort of hear and if you can't hear the sounds you know like just have to keep on experimenting until you get what you want what you want to hear because music should ultimately be fun I'm gonna name this pad. Can we feel it already? Can we feel the, the mood coming? You know, it's this nice, peaceful, ambient mood. I added the 808, but I won't be using it just yet. I wanna create some more energy. I wanna create some more sounds that I wanna create. And you know what Ray also does? What I heard on his music? I heard a bit of the, the, the delay sound. Or maybe even echo. Maybe we can try off echo. So let's go put some echo on. And let's see what we can get from there. Yeah, let's experiment with this delay and see where we can go. creating just anything because ultimately you just got to create what you want to create and just experiment and see where you can go you know oftentimes we have all these plugins and we don't even try to use them they all have interesting sounds that can come from it. Yeah, we got the piano. I'm gonna try the seventh chord and see how this will sound. If if we play some like rhythm, like oh, I like this. But it might be too extreme, you know. I love these sort of chords, though these jazzy chords. They're always so nice to hear, you know. So let's see what how this will sound. Um, I don't think it's sounding too good. Maybe it's the chords. Maybe it just needs empty space. Let's see how this will sound. Maybe it's sounding bad, and that's all right. Let's see what we can create. Maybe I just gotta play on the, the keyboard and see what we can come up with. So I'll press the record button. I think I need to turn it up. It's a bit hard to hear, so. I'm gonna turn off the counter and let's just see where we go. And you know, that's all right if it's sounding bad. I just press control U to quantize.
I'm going to turn down the velocity. So this is the velocity down here. So I'm just going to press B and just drag this down. So now it's sort of acting like a delay. You know, what I'm doing now is just laying textures. They're hard as a hair, but it doesn't matter because they do have their place in the music. Because even though you can't really hear it that well, it's still that subtleness, you know? And you know, I'm still trying to decide if it sounds good. It doesn't matter if it sounds bad because it is just making music ultimately. But it would still be nice if it sounded good. So now, I'm just gonna mess around with some delay. I'm putting this on the high because this is getting, this is only delaying on the high frequencies. The low frequencies are here and I don't want them. So that's what I'm doing. Let's add another delay for eighth notes. So now we have two delays and it's just creating more texture and more interesting feelings. Now, one of these chords sounds bad, so I'm just going to find it. This one. It needs more sadness. Now, I'm just going to click on here. I'm just going to mess around with the 808. Because who doesn't love this drum machine? The sounds you can create. So let's just mess around and have fun. I'll turn this up so it's a bit easier to hear. around with the delay because the delay can create really interesting things Let's just click in some interesting pattern and see what we can create. I'm still trying to decide if I like that sound or not. But what I do like is that that nice pad. It's really relaxing and even the drums are relaxing, you know? I feel like this is like a thinking song. And it's, it's also really fun to create. You know, because it's just crazy. You, we can use dolls these days and we can just create anything, you know? And how music works and how everything works it's like great to be thankful that we have the ability to do it or to learn it you know 
And if it's hard to do music, um, don't worry. If you get burnt out, don't worry. It's natural. What you just have to keep on doing is just trying to enjoy making the music and making the beats or whatever you make. You know, there are no rules to music. Only, only you set set rules in your head because you have goals. But ultimately, it doesn't really matter too much because you just have fun doing it. I don't know. I feel like. Whenever I make something, eh, I always like speak at the end, like something like semi-inspirational. Not that I have like ego, but like it just makes me feel like I'm um, speaking. But I'm sort of proud of making this, eh? Like, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and like, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you enjoyed the format that I did, if you think it's cheesy, if you think it's corny, tell me also. Or if you enjoy it, let me know because. I'm still just trying to create cool content, and I I really want to create content that I enjoy making, but also that people enjoy watching, and that they learn, and like, yeah, please let me know what tutorials you want next, and that will wrap up this video.